Manion. And I'm Madeline Hunt. Tonight, a Chatham County firefighter's emotional plea for answers. He says his wife was hit and killed while riding a bike last month. And the person who did it left the scene and hasn't been caught. WTOC's Flynn Snyder spoke with the first responder who's now asking the community for help solving his wife's case. Well, tree divots and markings along Norwood Ave are some of the signs that remain of this deadly crash one month later. Walking along Norwood Ave, Chatham County firefighter Levi Lake Cox says he tries to stay positive. It's difficult given the tragedy here that he says took his wife, 22 year old Bailey Lake's life. When it happened, I was on the phone with her. She went quiet at some point and I heard something. I really wasn't sure what it was. Levi says he was working at a fire station on May 22nd when he got a message. No first responder or husband ever wants to hear. I heard a call go out over our radio for a different station to respond to an accident. This says the injured the real to respond to an accident with injuries. When I heard the address 2235 Norwood Avenue, I realized who it was. Preliminary info from Georgia State Patrol says late that evening, an unknown vehicle going north on Norwood near Fox Chase Road struck a bicyclist riding along the fog line. The vehicle drove off and the bicyclist was pronounced dead on scene. Levi says he held on to hope that night, but realized how bad the incident was when he arrived at the crash site. It felt like the world had fallen out from under me. Levi says Lake was riding home from work when she was struck and remembers his high school sweetheart as a positive person working to get her degree from SCAD. It's been a whirlwind of emotion for everyone. Um, family, friends, anybody that knew her has been affected very deeply. Nearly a month later, troopers have not announced which vehicle may have been involved. Georgia's Public Safety Department recently posting this message online, asking witnesses to come forward. Whoever it was left, and the only thing that can make that right is to come back. Just come back, speak with the police, turn yourself in. A lack of answers leading to the prolonging of grief for the first responder, who's now calling on the community he serves to help get closure. Well, Levi says Lake's family and friends plan to place a memorial here at the crash site to remember their loved one. Reporting in Chatham County, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.